Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. In this video of Oblivion, I'm going to talk about why the Atronox sign is good. Now, before I get this video started, if you want to support the channel, check the link in the description. I'm selling some monitor stands. If you want to help me out, you can buy some monitor stands. But, anyways, now on to the Atronox sign. Why is it a good sign? And it's a very interesting sign. We'll start off with that. A lot of people scroll over it and they say, Oh, 150 bonus points of magic. That's great. And, oh... My magic doesn't resupply itself on its own. And oh, but 50% spell absorption. Ah, too much information. Get it out of my face. At least that's how I felt the first time I saw the Atronox sign. Then I actually started playing with it and realized it is an overpowered sign. It's OP. AF. All right. It's insane. The reason why? Very simple. First of all, 50% spell absorption means half the time someone casts a spell at you, it doesn't affect you, and it recharges your magic, right? Now, another thing is the 150 points of magic is great for training magic. You always, always end up carrying a bunch of potions of healing and magic. Those magic potions, I don't know about you guys, but when I have a good character, I barely use the magic potions. All right, in fact, sometimes I can just run around and let my magic regen. I don't, even, I don't need the potions, or the Welkin stones for that matter, and the money you get off Welkin stones really don't do anything. So, the Atronach sign basically adds a level of magic defense unlike anyone else. The 50% spell absorption is great for defense. Not exactly just because the Atronach sign is balancing. It's clearly a defense. Now, the stunted magic sucks in the beginning. Late game, it doesn't matter because you're going to have all the freaking potions and elements and amulets and you're probably going to have some enchanted rock or something i don't know it's going to be fixed right it's an issue in the beginning non-issue late game kind of like the age knock sign to me is kind of like you're you're throwing someone into the water they don't know how to swim but eventually they learn to be an olympic swimmer while all the other signs are you get thrown into the water you know how to swim but you can't quite make it to the olympic level now, the Atronach is also really good if your character gets into a lot of sticky situations and requires heavy magic use on the spot. What I mean is not, I'm just healing a lot or I'm fireballing a lot, but I need to cast a shield, an invisibility, a light. I don't know why you do light and invisibility. I need to conjure up a dagger, a skeleton, and I cast a fireball in like 2.5 seconds. Okay. That situation is great. The, the Atronach's there. The maximum magic is amazing. And you can always take the money that you make off looting and just go buy more potions. So the reason why the Atronach sign is good, once again, is because it adds a lot of magic and it has an, an insane defensive buff. Now, it can also defend against the damage attribute spells and also magical effects of weapons. So if someone has a shock sword... They hit you, you might absorb the shock. So even more defense on your end late game. So basically my thing is Atronox sign, you can cast a crap ton of spells, and basically half the time you're invincible to magic. And it makes it overpowered because you're not going to take so much damage. So if you enjoyed, you can tell me in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more videos on Oblivion and other topics. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you next episode of Streamer Vlog of whatever I decide to make.